All right, homies, I said I would answer questions. It's 7.58. Fung asked if it's okay to drink a beer before 8 o'clock in the morning. Yes, it is, Fung. Drinking the Head House Illuminati. This is uh, 7%. It's a good one. This one's solid, beautiful art. Um, I'm at the spot. It's a little bit more washy than I thought it would be. The water's not as clear. We'll see how we do. So I'm just gonna set up and then uh, first cast, like always, homies. All right, homies, I'll set up. Uh, and some news, new reel. Here's the Daiwa. I know last time I was here, I was talking about upgrading. Got the Daiwa Lexa TW. It's got this little wing system. So look at this. Pops out, so it gives it more room to cast, supposedly further cast. Um, can't wait to try this. Also, this time brought gloveys. That way, if we have to bring it up by hand, uh, we aren't gonna be hurting our little paws. All right, so I'm starting off with the same thing as last time. Little rig, a little different. Um, I added, I'm not sure if you could hear it, a little, can you hear that? I added a little rattle, so we'll see if that does anything. Here we go, also other news. TBD now has a fanny pack. Pretty cool, huh? So I got extra uh, hooks, um, sinkers, just extra tackle in there so I don't have to keep coming back to the, uh, to the backpack. All right. All right, here we go. First cast with the Daiwa. I need to adjust it. Ah, it's gonna go that far. There we go. That feels way better. We're on. There we go. Right on. What is this? Whew, first fish on the Daiwa. And homies, I got one of these now too. So, so now my hands are free. So I can just kind of... Nice, the Daiwa was actually able to haul this one up. Whew, how the hell? First fish on the Daiwa. Uh, is this a grassy? I think it's a grassy. Um, I'm gonna pull out the measuring instrument. I'm sorry, buddy, but going with me. All right, homie. So I'm gonna readjust the thing. Ooh, it's got a little dent. I got a file, so I'm gonna file that out. So here's the hook, you can see the bend. I'm not sure if you can see that actually. You can see it? And I'm just gonna slide this. See the bend's going away. Do it with this hand, it'll be better. There we go. Oh, I'm making sure not to hit the knot. There we go. Sharp. Cool. So I'm gonna readjust. So the rattle worked. Yes. Yes, hear that? So let's try again. So here we go, another cast. Way smoother. Again, 
again. Oh, let's go. This feels bigger. Oh. The waves help me up. Cabby. Oh no. Go, cabby. Oh. Might be a keeper, too. Measure real quick. Just 15. Oh, he made it. Woo! Oh, he made it. All right, homie's got the fanny pack. You even got a beer on there. Uh, time to explore a little. That's what the fanny pack's for. Like I said, this home base. And the fanny pack is for exploring. So let's go explore. Lost the hook, lost the sinker, lost everything. But this is exactly why I have the fanny pack. So I'll show you guys. I have a little extra tackle box with kind of everything on it and more grubs, different kinds of grubs, you know, hooks. So let's switch it up real quick. Um, and then we'll uh, move spots a little. There's the little sea otter, you see him? You guys see him? Look at him. So cute. Well snagged because I was looking at a sea otter. Alright, homies changed to this little pinky. This one does have a rattle. Ooh, nice one. Oh, no, no, no.
Whew. Huge grassy, homies. Huge grassy. Oh, man. Huge fucking grassy. Oh, man, look at them. Damn. This dude's huge. All right, let's measure them. Zero. Two. Right there. Right there's the tip of the tail. So, 16 and a half ish. PB. New record. Grassy. Woo. Oh man, let's crack open this one to celebrate. Thanks again, Hen House. That was on the grub. It wrecked the grub. Yeah, I ripped it up. Ripped it up pretty bad. Oh man, what a day. All right, let me just pound this one real quick and then we're gonna head back. homies so that uh, lure that the grassy took this is what I had in it oh you see this little guy it's got two little balls in there oh it's broken now oh no it's not so it's got two little balls in there and it rattles and so far every fish that i've caught today has had a variation of these there's different sizes ones with uh, uh three ball bearings ones with two ones a little bit bigger but each fi each fish i caught today has had this um, or has uh has been caught using this method so i don't know if i'm onto something but it's been working today next i'm just gonna wait while i'm waiting um if you follow me on instagram i asked if you wanted to have some questions answered some people submitted some questions so panda asked if you could travel anywhere to fish where would you fish and then it cuts off uh japan and the only reason is because they have a bunch of daiwa daiwa gear that we don't get over here so i'd probably fish and shop whoa 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 whoa, whoa. i think i got a bite no, I didn't get a bite. Johnny P, what happened to play a crows? That's my other Instagram. It's uh, more art forward. I don't really post on it anymore. Artists kind of got me mad in the year of 2020. Uh, bunch of weenies. Next question. Kelly Duty, how do I catch a ling from shore? Um, jigs, you could use squid, maybe get lucky. Um, but you want to use a swim bait or something like that. They're more uh, predatory, so they want to, they're angry. They want to attack something, you know? They don't just want to go after something standing still. Okay, next question. Uh, Coastal Pirates, is pineapple okay on pizza? No, no it's not. That should be a federal crime, punishable with two years in the men's correctional facility in Lompoc. Next question. Coastal uh, Pirates, again. Uh, favorite setup to fish right now? Texas rig with a grub super fun um and i'm catching a good amount of fish so i like it next question swim baits or cut bait right now swim baits cut bait stinky uh, i don't like going home stinky so swim baits what's your favorite mexican beer uh pacifico uh, i like that it's a uh, pretty dry it's got a good uh bite uh good flavor uh the modelos and caronis they're a little bit of yeasty they are uh, yeast forward i guess and both of them are in clear bottles so that makes the beer a little bit of light struck and it gives you a little bit of that skunky aftertaste um pacifico crisp good flavor and yeah just a good beer i like in uh, putting it in micheladas 
uh, just because of the the flavor profile I guess it's got a little bit of more uh, kick to it uh, I'm not sure what the alcohol is but really good beer okay next question Florida. whoa okay get there we go there we go there we go oh I got a bite was for sure getting bites but whatever it was it unsnagged me so I'll answer the next round of questions what the fuck I'll answer the next round of questions when I'm unsnagged or when I'm snagged again I guess that'll be the new thing when I'm snagged I'll answer questions All right, homie snagged again, so I'm gonna wait till the current unsnags me or a fish unsnags me or something. So more questions. Off the rock fishing. Uh, thoughts on the crab snare maker's beef. I don't know what's going on, but they're mean to each other on the comments. All right, D Curly. What, inspir what inspired you to start fishing? Uh, me and Chino used to fish in high school. Um, it was just shenanigans. Then I stopped, I thought I didn't like fishing, but I didn't know about rock fishing. And then um, at the beginning of COVID, Chino introduced me to rock fishing and it started like the obsession pretty much. Um, I got a few more questions and I'm still snagged, but the current's getting a little crazier. So hopefully this knocks it off. Now, what were the other questions? What's your perfect sandwich look like? Uh, it looks like a tube of meat with a tube bun sliced down the middle and they put the meat right there and it's called a hot dog. Next question. East Bay Angler, what's the most productive tide for fishing on the rocks? Incoming or outgoing? Uh, I don't really know. I just go out whenever. If uh, the conditions look good, then I'll go. Um, I'm still snack. Yeah, I go off by more like the the waves you know if it's calm or not um more calm means less snacks so i base it off that also wind so the last of the questions what's chino's favorite strains let's call them and find out Chino, what, what's your favorite strain? Huh? What's your favorite strain? Uh, damn, you did, I did pick up, fuck. Huh? <laughs> um, blue cheese. Blue cheese? All right, yeah. cool. I'm gonna go back to fishing. I just wanted to ask you. All right, later. Okay. So I'm not sure if you heard that. He said blue cheese. I think that's it for questions. If I missed you, I'm sorry, but I got a re-rig. All right, homies, maybe two more casts here. And then I got to start heading back to the mainland. Whoa. No fucking way.
right, homies, that's the end of the day. It's time to fillet these guys and, or not fillet them, just gut them, and then go home. All right, homies, time to go home. Whoa, 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 whoa. Least favorite part, but it was a good day overall. Some shenanigans, but we still caught fish. All right, homies, it's time for the uh, cooking portion of the show. Uh, first things first, I'm gonna. It's already cracked open, but it's the hen house, stoked, 5.4%. Uh, this one's on mosaic. Got the fish koozie. Here we go. And we're gonna start off right away. First things first, we're gonna uh, chop some onions. I'm gonna, like I said in the last catch and cook, I like them kind of uh, sliced too. So I'm only going to chop three quarters of it and then one quarter is going to be sliced. So we'll start with that one first. All right, now that's chopped, we're just going to put it in the pan and start sauteing. Mix them up. We're just going to saute them. I'm going to turn down the heat a little. Next. Mushrooms, baby bellas. Same thing, chop them up different sizes. Let's introduce these in there too. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. Um, they do shrink a little, I guess. Um, I love mushrooms. Not the way my boy Fung does, but I love mushrooms. These onions, the ones had a little bit, made cut a little bit too much. So I used maybe three quarters of the onions. These ones I'm gonna save, I don't wanna cook them. So I'll save them, put them to the side for now. Mix this up. I'm gonna heat up some water and we're gonna put in some beef bouillon. So, you're probably wondering what we're doing. I'm still not gonna tell you. Actually, it's already on the title. Uh, we're gonna try to make fish chili. Um, so I'm gonna add this beef bouillon. It's gonna be, I guess, you're like thinking, why didn't you get a different type of bouillon, whatever. But uh, I guess it's surf and turf because it's a cow and a fish. So here we go. It's one per two cups. I think I have one and a half cups there. I'll write down everything. There'll be text like that. And it's just these little things. It's uh, one pour per two cups. I got one and a half cups. We're fine with that. And you want to add it when it's boiling. I'm just going to add it right now because we got a bunch of stuff going on. So while everything's cooking, I'm going to start cutting up the fish. Um, this portion, I just want little chunks. It doesn't matter. And this one, I'm just gonna add to the onions that are cooking. I don't care if this one overcooks, gets crumbly. You'll see what I'm doing. Actually, I don't even know what I'm doing. So let that cook together. All right, homie, so I already added the seasoning to the mixture. Um, I added uh, cayenne, sugar, garlic powder, cumin, chili powder. Um, cumin, I'm not sure if I mentioned that. So I mixed it in here. And then I added the uh, beef broth. And now I'm gonna, so the rest of the fish that we had, I cut it up and I'm gonna start seasoning it. We're just gonna wing it. So. 
I did find a new uh, uh, Mexican fish, fish seasoning, I guess. Uh, it's called Sazon. We'll give it a try. Just mix it by hand, make sure each one is coated. And I'm gonna add some chili powder to this too. So this started simmering again. So I'm gonna add some tomato paste. Perfect. We're just gonna let this simmer. Let all the uh, ingredients melt. I don't know if that's the right term. A little bit more beer. So now we're gonna add some diced tomatoes, hunts. Just a little tip, keep the lid halfway on, put it in there, close it, now the tip can't go out, no one will get cut. We're also going to add some tomato sauce, they don't want to add all of it, but put that to the side. The oil heat it up, and we're going to just cook these guys separately and add them at the end. So that's simmering. We're gonna cook uh, both sides fully cooked. So while that's cooking, we're gonna finish adding the rest of the ingredients to this one. Let's put this away. So we're gonna add some uh, kidney beans to the mixture. They're uh, drained and rinsed. So for me, we're gonna add some uh, black beans. My dog's named Beans, I'll show you her in a minute. So some black beans, bushes, I'm not sure if that's the bush family. And I'm just going to add a little bit of these. Now I'm going to flip these. If it falls apart, it's fine. So I just tasted it. Uh, now I'm just going to season to taste. That was kind of just the base. I am also going to add the rest of this uh, Yucateco. It's pretty much done. That gives it like a smoky uh, type of flavor of good spice. <clears throat> so I already cut them up, but I am going to add some of these type of onions in here. Just let them simmer in there. <clears throat> I'm also going to add a little bit of black pepper. <clears throat> okay, the fish is cooked. We're just going to put it to the side for now. And I'm just going to let everything sit for a minute while everything's sitting. Um, just letting it rest, letting it cool down. Except the actual chili itself. Let's show you it. This is the actual chili. You can see all the beans. We'll let that uh, keep cooking. Uh, a lot of the water will cook out. It'll thicken up. As Josh Lawyer likes to call it, it will reduce. I'm gonna make a little uh, sour cream sauce to go for it, or I don't even know if it's called a sauce. But I'm gonna get sour cream. Good healthy dollop. Some El Yucateco Extra Hot. This one has a lot of flavor. You just need a few drops. And a little bit of smoked paprika I'm just gonna mix that up all right homies quick drink now we're gonna add the fish so just kind of gently toss it in there you know and I'm gonna save some pieces just to put on the top just for the gram, for Instagram. And we're gently gonna mix that in. So now it's at a low simmer. So I'll let you guys see that part. So I'm gently mixing it in. See, there's like pieces of fish right there. Right there. Can you even see that? I hope you can. Yeah, you can. So everything now is fully cooked. So I'm gonna shut it off, let it sit, and I've got to walk Beanie Weenie. Of course you guys want to see her, so hold on. Beanie Weenie. 
this. Here she is. So yeah, we're gonna let that sit, and then when we come back, we'll uh, plate it. We are gonna do a white bowl. This bowl looks like it has uh, fish scales. That's pretty cool. Coincidence. some of this uh, Mexican cheese on it. Look how it looks now. Look at that. Let's give this a try. Let's see how it turned out. Looks beautiful. Oh, a little bit of everything. See right there. Apart the garnish, throw it in there. Oh, Beanie Weenie's here. She loves chips. I'll show you guys in a minute. Damn, that turned out. Another bite, bunch of stuff on it. It's got a good amount of spice. Like always, if something's spicy, pair it up with the hoppy beer. Uh, the, the sour cream came out spicier than what I thought it would be. It's really good. Mm. Good. Simple. Pretty easy to make. Um, I'll tweak the recipe a little. I'll write everything down at the bottom, kind of like what I did on the description. And if you want to make it yourself, you know, Try it out, try out different things. Let me know how it goes. This is uh, how my friend Fung would say, uh, busted. He would probably call this busted. I'm not sure what that means, but it's busted. Check this out, check this out. Please. Look at Mrs. Venus. Venus Venus, mm -hmm. you want a chip? Mm -hmm. She wants a chip. Come here, come here baby. Chips. <laughs> 